adjustment. It's a pleasure to be here at the Morton Grove Farmers Market for Morton Grove. Welcome to Morton Grove Day. Well, you don't have to be in Morton Grove very long before you realize that the American Legion plays a big role in Morton Grove and its town. And I'm joined by Donna Hedrick, who is with the American Legion. And Donna, tell us a little bit about the organization and what it does in Morton Grove. The um, American Legion is involved with helping veterans, and we go to hospitals, and we go to community, community services like the Farmers Market here um, for the July. How many members do you have in the Legion? We have about 700 members in the Legion and about 100 members in the Arkansas. Uh, you were scheduled to have a big parade on Memorial Day and turned into a smaller parade done a little differently. Yes, we had. We held a service in the, um, at the hall and we, um, the Arkansas we had a memorial service for all the veterans that have died from World War and we have now placed a week over by the Millboro Stand. Up July. Uh, many of the veterans uh, these days may be from the uh, Vietnam era, but if you look at World War II, do we have many veterans left from that war? We still have quite a few, and they are still quite active, if they can be. Now, if anyone is interested, has a family member who they think might be interested in joining the American Legion, what should they do? They can contact the American Legion, and um, I don't have the number right now, but it's 6144 Dempsey Street, and the auxiliary if they have a uh, wife, a mother, a daughter, a granddaughter, they can join the auxiliary. All right, this is Donna Hedrick. She is with the American Legion. Mark Novick is with the Morton Grove Days Committee, and this is an exciting time because this is where everything seems to happen. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about what the Morton Grove Days Committee is responsible for. Well, try to do is make a wonderful weekend for everybody in Morton Grove and their friends from outside Morton Grove with a parade, with a carnival, with uh, fireworks, a beer garden, and lots of entertainment. And all in all, it's just a great weekend. You know, it's all set into one weekend, but this is a process that takes a whole lot more than just a few days to put together. Well, we've been working since last year's Morton Grove days. We started our first meeting was the, a couple weeks after July 4th last year, and we've been going all year. But that's what it takes. Now, when you start to organize something like this, what, where, do you, where do you start? Uh, history. Use a lot of uh, help from previous years. Um, just, you know, you start with people who are willing to give and have the time and the willingness. And I think people is where you start. We have somebody who's been getting volunteers for us for many years. We have somebody who started doing the parade a couple of years ago and still organizing. I take care of the money, handling it. And uh, it's just people that are willing to do a little more than the average. And money is an important aspect of this because nothing happens for free. How much money does it take to run something like this successfully? Well, about $40,000. Uh, and it's all donated. So we don't depend upon the village or anybody else. We depend upon sponsors who are businesses in Morton Grove, organizations in Morton Grove. Many have been very generous. We depend upon our raffle ticket sales, which will go on through the Morton Grove phase and the final drawing on the after the fireworks. And that's how we make it work. If anyone is interested in donating to Morton Grove Days in order to make this festival as good as it usually is, uh, how can they do that? They can uh, contact, they can send it in to Village Hall. Village Hall this year is handling the uh, bookkeeping, and uh, 
that's all. Just write it's for Morton Grove Day. So it's real simple. Barb Novick, who is with Morton Grove Day, is getting ready for the big weekend here in Morton Grove. We're at the Farmer's Market during Morton Grove Day. How's it going? My name is Peter Konstantinovich. My name is Steve Barra. And we both run the Pape Shack. And at the Pape Shack, our job is to feed you. Our, uh, our recipe is from a homemade uh, recipe wrapped in tradition. And we were going to be at all kinds of festivals. All right, so uh, we're going to make a Nutella banana crepe right now at the Morton Grove uh, Farmer's Market. We put a little extra virgin olive oil so that the crepe batter doesn't stick on to uh, the griddle. And spread it with our crepe spreader. Pour the batter on. Swirl the batter on to make the crepe. all the way around and then we'll be ready to flip it. This shack uh, ourselves from the ground up, just uh, using uh, up money that we'd saved from working. Uh, it's uh, we're both college students, and uh, it's been our dream to open up a uh, business. And we thought, what better way to uh, combine uh, crepes with business? And uh, we just put to, put the two together, and Crepe Shack started. Yep. So you can check us out at the Long, at the Morton Grove Chocolate Festival. You can check us out at the Long Grove Apple Fest, and many more this summer in the Chicagoland area. You can look us up on Facebook and on Twitter, and please check out our website at www.crepeshack.com. Thanks a lot. Can you think of anything more appropriate at a farmer's market than the Garden Club? After all, where does our food come from? The garden. In some cases, very big gardens. Pat Smolik is joining us from the Morton Grove Garden Club. Tell us a little bit about the activities that the Garden Club is involved in. Try to interact with the various organizations in town, such as the uh, Friends of the Forest Preserve, the Historical Society, and we support their efforts. We also have month we have monthly meetings, and we bring in speakers from various uh, organizations and um, businesses, such as the Botanic Garden. Uh, we also have Master Gardeners come in and talk to us. We even have a gentleman come periodically and tells us how to uh, sharpen our needs. Now, how long has the Morton Grove Garden Club been around? It's uh, 50 years. Now. A little over 50 years. Uh, it was originally founded by uh, Opal Schrader, Dodie Conley, and Lottie Saber, who are no longer with us. And you do have several other members who are here with you today. That's right. We have Dina Nastas, who is our outgoing president. We had Lois Fresh, who 
has been a long standing uh, member. Oh, Joyce Wolf is also here. <laughs> Joyce is also <laughs> does dual purpose. She's president of the uh, oh, Wings. When does the Garden Club meet? <laughs> we meet on the uh, fourth Tuesday of every month. Mm -hmm. Seven o'clock at night at the uh, North uh, Civic Center. And if someone wanted to become a member or to attend one of your events, what should they do? They can uh, show up at one of our meetings or they can contact me or any one of the members. Alright. The Morton Grove Garden Club here at the Farmer's Market in Morton Grove during Morton Grove Days. Jackie Liston is with the Morton Grove Chamber of Commerce. And Jackie, uh, welcome to our show once again. I know you were with us uh, a few months ago. Uh, tell us, if you will, what the Morton Grove Chamber of Commerce role is in regard to Morton Grove Days. In regard to Morton Grove Days? Um, well, we are here to uh, help Morton Grove Days promote their event and uh, to act as kind of a bridge between them and the business community um, to reach out and get some sponsorship, encourage um, residents to come out and enjoy the festival. Uh, and things like that. This is a uh, beautiful weekend for a festival, but what many people don't realize is the Morton Grove Chamber works all year long with uh, businesses helping them to promote what it is they do. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the role of the Chamber of Commerce in the village. Um, well, first of all, we're an advocate for the business community. We're here to unite and promote all of them. Um, again, we act as a bridge between the businesses and the uh, village government, and we also provide some great advertising and networking opportunities um, to help the business community uh, unite. Jackie Listen with the Morton Grove Chamber of Commerce. Community relations as well. Uh, welcome to the farmers market. Uh, please look for our community relations table at the farmer mar farmers market once a month. Uh, look on our website for the exact dates. And we're also very welcome. We're happy to work with the uh, farmers market people today to sponsor the Welcome to Morton Grove Day, which highlighted all the community organizations that make this a great place to live. And uh, please also uh, look for our full-length uh, video, um, video uh, from Morton Grove TV uh, cable program that will be coming up shortly, which will go in more depth about what the commission does and uh, more about our backgrounds. Thank and for you more so information, much. look on our village website.